finally get a chance to break out of our cabins. Lunch no more cabin patio. fever. Uh, yeah, highs in the 70s coming up tomorrow and again on Sunday. Today, we're looking kind of at that mixture of clouds and sunshine. A live look right now in North Dallas so shows the gray skies. Some of you have blue skies, though, and it really depends on whether or not the clouds are in your area today as to how high the temperatures get. Where we had clouds in Dallas County, we're still holding on into the 40s. So we're mid 40s in Irving, Garland, Carrollton, 46 in Dallas. We will continue to see temperatures continue to rise, but will rise faster once we get the sunshine out. We should top out at 58, but if the clouds hold a little bit longer, then we'll see these temperatures lower a bit. So it's kind of varying today with south winds between 15 and 20 miles an hour. A pretty breezy day for us here in North Texas. And the clouds will continue, especially basically southeast of the Dallas Fort Worth area. You can see the visible satellite. We're socked in the clouds in most of the metroplex down to the south and east. But our northern and western parts of the area are looking at sunshine. And that's reflected in our high temperature map for today. Notice that where we have the clouds, that's where temperatures are lower, with temperatures only staying in the 40s in places like Kaufman, Corsicana, and Hillsboro. But out here to the west, with more sunshine, temperatures will be into the 60s. Now, overnight tonight, everybody gets clouded over, but temperatures will stay very mild, near 50. And tomorrow afternoon, with sunshine, how about highs in the 70s for the first time in a long time here in North Texas? Now, as we get into Sunday, a cold front will be sweeping through, and this will trigger a fairly thin line of showers and thunderstorms that will tend to develop right on top of the metroplex and then push to the east. But some of those storms could be fairly strong. And for the first time in a while, we have a severe weather risk to talk about. Now, this is all east of the metroplex, and it's just isolated severe storms, so nothing widespread in terms of severe weather. But some of the stronger storms Sunday evening to the east of the metroplex could produce some damaging wind, maybe some dime sized hail, lightning, and brief downpours. Overall, this is not going to be a severe weather outbreak, but a couple of strong storms we'll need to watch for. And then Sunday afternoon, behind that cold front, it's going to be very windy, so we have a, a fire weather watch for our western counties for Sunday afternoon. 50s today, 70s this weekend, and then next week, we'll be in the 60s.